Good morning, friends. Welcome to the series of percentage. In last video, I have discussed about the concept of to and by for the percent. And in this lecture, I am going to discuss three questions. Uh, these are basic questions where we can understand how to solve such problems, which is most basic. So the problem first is. So uh, 200% of a number is 140, then 160% of that number will be. It's a very simple problem. 2% of a number is 140, then 160% of that number will be. Okay. So I will solve it uh, below. So 200% of a number is 40. Suppose that number is X. Suppose that number is x number equal to x so 200 percent of x is equal to 140 then 160 percent of that number will be suppose i say it y so it is equation one and it is equation two so we can simply divide these two equations on the left hand side on the left hand side of this equation will be 2000% of x divided by 160% of x is equal to 140 divided by, sorry, not x, it is y. It is y. So this x is x cancelled and percentage effect is also cancelled. So we can take simply these two numbers. One is 200 and second is 160. And here it is 140 by y. So 0 to 0 cancel it will be 5 by 4 equal to 140 divided by 5. So this y will be this y will be 140 multiplied 4 by divided by 5. So it will be uh, uh, 5 uh, to the 10. So 4. 28 into 4 is 112. It's a 112. So if y is 112, so we can also find this number x. So 160% uh, percent, any 100 of this x is equal to 112. So it will be your x is equal to 112 multiplied by 10 divided by 16. So uh, when we divide by 4, 4 or whatever, and it will be uh, 4 to the 8 and 4 is a so it is 7 70. So x will be 70. We can also find it from uh, this particular uh, equation 1 and also from equation 2. So our motive is to find this y. This y is your 112. Now uh, the question number 2, you can see this question solution properly. So the question second is. If A earns 33% more than B, then B earns less than A by what percent? So questions like this may be confusing for the people. If suppose the A is greater than, can say greater than 33% than B, or can say A earns 33% more than B, then B earns uh, less than A, but by what percent? Some people may say that if A is earning 33% more than B, then B will earning 33% less than A. It is not like that. So it is not like that. If A is earning 33% more than B, okay. If A is earning 33% more than B, so the second question, uh, solution second is answer two. If A earns 33% more than B. Suppose B earns 100 rupees. Suppose B earns 100 rupees. Then A will earn 33% more than B. So it will be 33% of B, any yani 100 plus that 100. So it will be 133. So the concept is that if we 
evaluate the value of A with respect to B because we have decided B as a hundred. So the A will be 133. But on the other hand, if we say that V is what percent less than A, then A will be the reference. So a denominator A will be considered like that. So if we say that, uh, if we say that B is less than A by what percent? Why? What percent? Okay. So we can say B is less than A. Uh, so it is uh, 33. But for this, the reference is because we are less than A. Initially, it was less uh, more than B. And if B was the reference, then we were considering the percentage with respect to B only. But if we are considering that uh, B is less than A by what percent? So A is a reference. So we have to take here A in the denominator. So it is, uh, we can say, okay, calculator I have to use. So 3300 divided by 133. Yeah, 24.8. So it is 24.81%. So if I say that A is 33% more than B, then B is 24.81% less than A. Okay, I think you will understand. In the first case, when A is more than 33% uh, than B, then A, B was the reference. And the second case, when B is less than the A, by what percent, then A is the reference. So denominator will be A. So denominator will be A. Okay. Now third question is, okay, third question is, if 15% of 40 is greater than 25% of a number by 2, and what is that number? So 15% of 40. So percentage questions are not like to solve directly without thinking something. So first of all, we have to solve these questions layer by layer. So first, the concept is if 15% of 40. So first we have to calculate the 15% of 40. Now let's clean this particular place. So 15% of 20, 15% of not 20, 15% of 40 is greater than 25% of some number X that we have to calculate. So 15% of 40 is greater than 25% of number X by what value? 2. So this is the equation we have to solve. So now suppose take 100 common and uh, move to right hand side, it will be 15 into 40, it is 600 minus 25 X is equal to 200, this 100 is taken on the right. So it will be 25 X would be 400 implies that X is equal to 400 Y by 25. So it will give you uh, 16. Okay. So X is the 16. I think you get uh, what, uh, how to solve these questions. So you can see the solutions um, again by, or you can first solve these questions by your own. So, uh, first uh, pause the video and try to solve these questions. And afterward you can see the solutions. So this is enough for this video. And in next video, I will uh, take some good questions. So thank you.